Hello, yes, it is me again, Holly Agarbar, and it is today Happy Home Kit launch because officially the new home kit is out and I know many of us have seen it already because it's been around for many months and many moons um, but it takes Tottenham forever always to release a kit but it is here ladies and gents in this video I'm going to dissect it what it looks like from the eye, um, the concepts behind it, and a few clues that were hidden in the promotional video. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. Yes, ah, uh, it's Holly's Hotspurs back with another one. Chatting all things Tottenham, we're second to none. Special guests every time, if it's win, lose, or draw. The passion is high, like Harry Kane when he scores. Or when Lloris makes a world class save. We got Hoybier running the mid every game. Settle down, stick around, share your thoughts with the panel, and make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Coys. Yes, so let's get down to business. So here is. The home kits that obviously came out today. I just want to point out it is so lovely to see Harry Kane this year in the promotional video because obviously last year there was a bit of uncertainty whether he would be a Tottenham player but with him obviously in the kit this year promoting it I think it's safe to say he is staying at Tottenham and who wouldn't under Conte but this is pretty much it uh, this year. Um, to be fair, I think we've all seen it, like I've kind of already said, we've seen it in the works for a while now. I mean, it came out in Australia, I think a couple of days ago. People have got it on DHgate, so we kind of knew that it was going to be the vibe. But let's kind of go into a few of the kind of um, things I've read about it. Um, I'll take it down for now. This is apparently um, Dare to Do True. So it's very much linked to today is to do. They've just changed the last word. But apparently it is the first instalment of five instalments that are going to be in this kind of production line. So to speak, I'm, I'm guessing that the away and the third kit will probably be the second and the third instalment. Um, if you're into your whole recycled Save the Planet business, it is 100% recycled polyester. Um, the kind of vibe and theme behind it is obviously unity and pride. I think that's kind of shown throughout the promotional video, which I will fizz up in a minute and dissect it as we go along. Um, the only downside for me, obviously, it's very much like, as you can see over here, last year's kit, which is I liked because it was pretty basic. Um, but obviously this year you've kind of got the whole little yellow trim going on um which i'm a bit like yeah not too sure about it and the collar last year's collar was a bit more triangular whereas this year's a proper neck so i'm going to be intrigued how that fits on me uh with the women's shirt but like i said i think when it first came out i wasn't too pleased about it but seeing harry kane in it now i'm a bit more happy about it um but obviously if you were to buy it uh, you would be set back by £75 um, if that is the one that you're going to go for the standard edition. If you want to go elite, ladies and gents, you need to part ways with £115. Now, I see lots of people obviously dig at the club. Unfortunately, I don't think it's a club that actually set the prices. It is Nike. So for once, I can't really blame Nick and Levy for that. But no, it is the uh, Nike themselves that put the prices at that range. But I tell you what, it, it is growing on me. I am not going to lie with you. Um, like I said, it's pretty simplistic to last year. Obviously, we've got the yellow trim. But the thing that makes me more excited that this year there will be a Champions League badge on it. And if you're going to be anything this year, you've got to be thinking it to yourself, we could possibly win a trophy in this shirt. So it's got to be one that you're going to lock down. Um, now I'm going to head over to, obviously, the promotional video, which I will be playing on the side in just a sec. I'm going to play it, but I'm going to pause it at certain bits because there are some hidden subliminal messages, I think, that are very exciting. So here we go. I'm going to fizz it up. To stand proud. Like I say, who would have thought last year you would have seen Harry Kane um, in a promotional video for the Spurs shirt? He was nowhere to be seen, but this year it's so nice again to see him, to see him in this one. To stand for something you believe in. That gimme gimme is there and obviously... Dead. It is nice to see um, women's players involved. I know they were involved last year, but again, to be involved in this kind of promotional video shows the unity and the diversity we have at the club at the minute, which is great. Represent where you're from, but also where you're going. Now, this is very exciting. I don't know if you can really see it, but it says Istanbul uh, on it, on the kind of like route, routes travel guide thing. Okay. Um, and I just want to point out at the bottom, it says, but also where you are going 
Now, ladies and gents, where's the Champions League final this year? <coughs> Istanbul. I like that, Spurs. I see you there. I see you there. So that's quite exciting. Dare to do your style. Dare you just missed it, but that was Ash Neville uh, from the Spurs women's team. Dare to do it for glory. And dare to do it all. Now, this is another interesting one. I don't know if you can see it on the video, um, but it says, and dare to do it all. Um, as you can see, that's a calendar. Um, and as you can see on the calendar, it's got sparkly bits around the 7th of June. And the next one has a big red circle around it on the 8th of June. And to dare to do it all, does that mean that a signing could be inbound tomorrow? Who knows? Um, be interesting when I watch this back tomorrow and see if I was right or not. But just another subliminal message, which I think is quite exciting in the video. Together. I'm just very excited. <laughs> and you know what? That video, I think, unlike last year's, like I said already about Harry Kane, I've mentioned it three times now, but it's so nice to see the unity of both the women's team and the men's team um, coming together, which which is great. And like I said, it wasn't in the video, but there was no Champions League badge on the side, but I think we're all going to be purchasing one because I think we're going to see ourselves win a trophy uh this year um so yeah for me let me get rid of this i think for me this kit i i didn't like it i think it's quite simplistic obviously the yellow trim adds a bit of color to it um but it's very much like last year's kit but let's not all be joking we're all going to be buying it anyway um <laughs> it's, it's what happens with tottenham but yes i am very intrigued to see how far we're going to go in competitions in this shirt how far we're going to go in the league under antonio conte let me know your thoughts on the kit down below obviously we have the away and possibly third kit coming out soon so there should be another video so let me know if you like this kind of video um but yeah let me know what you think of the new kit and until next time come on you spurs mm -hmm.